This is another photo that I took with the Sigma 40mm f1.4 art lens that I was reviewing at the time. And what's interesting about this to me is that this photo is, it, I shot it at f1.4 and I'm, it's kind of an interesting photo, I guess. It, the reason I took it specifically, I was biking to work and I noticed that there was some fog on this pond. And I go past, past this pond every day and it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, it, it, it looks like, well, I, I don't know what it evokes in your mind, but it, I promise you it's nothing really special. It's just a pond. And, and uh, just in the background, there's some houses. To the left of me, there's a like a fairly busy street. I mean, it's just a pond next to the road. But it it's kind of early morning the sun isn't really up yet and you got this fog kind of rolling over or rolling around over the water i thought it was kind of an interesting scene it was a different way of seeing a scene that i go past every day and i had that lens with me so i figured i might as well give it a shot and see what it can do and the interesting thing to me about this is that this photo was captured at f1.4 and the level of sharpness really impressed me i wish i were getting paid by sigma to talk about their lens i'm not they let me borrow the lens but that's it because i would gladly talk about how um how great this lens is uh simply because it's really good i i don't recall using a lens like this before that is so sharp wide open and so the the reason the wide open part is uh, worth noting is that because there wasn't much light, I needed a wide aperture to capture this scene. Either that or I had to raise the ISO because I needed a, like, let's start with shutter speed. In order to capture this without any movement, you need a decently fast shutter speed. And without any light, you either need a big old aperture or a high ISO. And that lens allowed me to have a really fast shutter speed of, I, I don't know, I think 180th of a second or something uh, fast enough to minimize the any vibration. So I had a fast shutter speed and I had um, low uh, or low ISO because the aperture was open so wide at f1.4. And even then, the sharpness is kind of amazing. If you click through on Flickr and look at the original photo, every branch is just like tack sharp. And I don't really see that on an, on a, a lens at wide open. In the middle, it's usually decently sharp. Like if, if you were to shoot this with a 50 millimeter lens, wide open at f 1.8 on your, just like a basic 50, you would notice it'd be pretty sharp, but around the edges, it wouldn't be all that sharp. And uh, the, the more you examine it, the more you'd find little optical oddities like chromatic aberration, stuff like that. Although without a whole lot of light, there wouldn't be a lot of chromatic aberration yet, but you get the idea. This lens just really impressed me with how good it performed in a low light situation, wide open, and still had a ton of overall sharpness. So it was really fun to shoot this and, and pull it into Lightroom and realize that I had this really nice photo that um, had a, a, a really, it was really sharp and uh, low ISO. So it was just a, like a smooth all around photo. You could shoot a sharp photo like this with another lens at like f4 and get it really nice and sharp, but it wouldn't be, uh, you'd have to raise the ISO if your aperture was stopped down that much and it, the, the result wouldn't be quite so clear. This was a, it was a, it was a fun photo to take because it was such a, an interesting uh, way of shooting it with that particular lens. And I, I don't think I could have gotten a photo like this with a different lens. So it was fun to try.